chili cornbread, hatch chili brioche, hatch chili scampi, hatch chili gumbo. How did you know Kelly was the one and when do you think you would get married? All right, so what's advice you would tell your younger self? Um, My calm temper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got big old buns. Oh. <laughs> it's because you don't wash your face. I don't wash <laughs> Wait, we're out of here? We're out of here, it's 10 o'clock. Lucy Goofy. Lucy Goosey. Lucy Goofy. <laughs> Flying by the seat of my pants. Off the cuff, you know? Oh, hey y'all. How's it going? That's the work. All right, so we went, went to, to uh, Central Market. Central Market this morning, which they only have in Texas. They actually only have them in Austin, Dallas, Fort Worth, Houston, Plano, uh -huh. San Antonio, and South Highland. Yeah, it's like a H-E-B nice grocery yeah, store. Yeah, it's have like a lot of gourmet think stuff. Think of like like Whole Foods, but like insane. So yeah, we went and grabbed some stuff because Scott is going to make us Lobster rolls and lobster bisque. We're gonna do hot lobster rolls, cold lobster rolls, and lobster bisque. Wow! Yeah. Um, he's never made them before, so it'll be fun. Never made them before, Perfect. but not not hard. Anyone can do it. Anyone so. can do it. So first thing you're gonna need some lobsters. Lobsters. Yeah, we got a couple of main lobsters. Um, for about one and a half pounders. Um, you can go easy and uh, <laughs> you can get um, regular, you can just get lobster meat from the store or whatever yeah. for the lobster rolls. But since we're doing a bisque, we got to use the um, shells and everything to make the lobster stock. Yeah. And then we grabbed two different rolls because I wanted, they didn't, first of all, they didn't have traditional lobster rolls, but mm -hmm. I wanted like a roll or like a, I think you call it a roll. And this yeah, is a like bun. A, a hot dog. And then bun. Scott wanted brioche dinner buns yeah. for his. So we're doing hot and cold. So the cold one is made with like a mayonnaise base. Mm -hmm. just the lemon, hot one is mayonnaise, butter. salt, pepper, and, and celery. celery. And the yeah. hot one is just like a drawn garlic butter base. Butter. Peaches. Those aren't for, for the lobster fun. rolls. No way. Uh, peaches are in season here in the south. Lemons. And don't yell at me, I didn't bring my reusable bags and I really wish I had. I know. This um, one thing about this grocery store is that you pick up all your own produce and you have to put it in a bag with a yeah. tag that you have to print out. Yeah. Uh, so you have to but you don't have to. They can, they can look everything up. Yeah, you I don't guess, want to. I guess you could do that. Um, but you also could like, I've seen people bring like a sheet of paper and like put all the stickers on the sheet of paper. Uh, so smart. that way they don't have to use the plastic bags. But you can also reuse your plastic bags for like dog poo and stuff. But it is hatch chili season. Do you want to mm -hmm. explain what hatch chilies are? Hatch chilies are this green chili from New Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, and every year around this time of year in the south around here, people go crazy for the hatch green chilies. And at Central Market and some other good grocery stores, they actually fire roast them on the spot. And we got fire roasted, mild hatch chilies. Um, they're they're really only right? in season for about a month. No, they still have the oh, skins still on skins? them. But the skins get kind of burned off because like, yeah. they use a really hot propane fire and just tumble them. Yep. But anyways, it's a mild, so they, really flavorful. Yeah, pepper. but they do like everything hatch chili. You can get mm -hmm. hatch chili, ice almonds, cream. ice cream, <laughs> literally everything. So we grabbed the popcorn, which hatch chili cheddar popcorn, I've gotten it from Trader Joe's before, so we'll compare and see. This price wasn't bad, it was only two fifty for this bag. But overall, ATB, or Central Market is very pricey. Um, and then we got these, which are kettle cooked, waffle cut garlic and hatch 
potato chips, which look phenomenal. Yeah, we're gonna throw those on our plate. I'm we're sure you can get all cool. this stuff at HEB, which I'm pretty sure HEB is a Texas yeah. grocery store anyways. We got Hatch Chili. Oh, chocolate. Dark chocolate, yes. even. Wow. 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 Got some herbs for our dinner tonight. So what do you got? We got thyme, we got chives, and we got tarragon. Um, the thyme and tarragon is for the bisque, and the chives are just for garnish, really. I grabbed some rice noodles so we can make spring rolls at some point soon. Not for tonight, honestly. Obviously. And then some heavy whipping cream. So that's everything. And then we obviously have like other things in the fridge. So we'll explain to you everything that we did get yeah. later. It was a fun grocery okay. haul. We went, we took Arlo. Yeah. He had fun. Mm -hmm. For the most part. Want to try one? <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Is this a, we're doing a mukbang? I love how there's, it it's called? literally like filled up to here. Oh yeah. That is, look how crazy that is. A lot of extra. Here now you get the first taste. This looks much more like coated than the Trader Joe's one. Since we're on camera, I'll give you the first bite. Oh! Hmm. Spicy? No, I just inhaled something. That was oh. really, really good. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Mmm. 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 That is so weird. Yeah. That was really good. Very cheddar-y. Yeah, it's damn good though. Mm -hmm. I could eat the whole bag. I know. I'm about to go for a walk and I bet you will. You wanna try the dark chocolate? No, that's for dessert later tonight. Really? Okay. Anyways, that's everything we got from HEB. So. Oh, mold. No. Other breads there are made in house. No. No. Other breads there are made in house. So very. They have a lot of really rustic breads, really nice breads. Their breakfast muffins are delicious. Yeah. Divine, even. Somebody they have hatch that. chili cornbread, hatch chili brioche, hatch chili scampi, hatch chili gumbo. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. They have hatch chili deli turkey. Really? Mm -hmm. I saw hatch chili cheeses. That's normal. Okay. Yeah. They had hatch chili almonds. They did. All right. So it's only two o'clock now, so we'll see you guys all mm. later when it's when Scott's preparing. Not good. We keep eating them so they can't be that bad. It's just like chip. Not very strong flavor at all. I feel like it just kind of tastes oily. I don't taste any flavor. Oh. Hmm. Texture is excellent, but. I mean, they're potato chips <laughs> with a slight hint of garlic and hash. All right. Not as uh, flavor forward as I would have hoped. Yeah, I know. Okay. All right. So we're gonna prep some stuff. Um, boil some lobsters. Mm -hmm. Cut some vegetables. And don't worry, we're not gonna show the actual. What do you call it? I don't want to say that word. Execution of there the lobsters. There you go. <laughs> we're not going to show Scott, the we'll, killing of the lobsters. I will but we're going to do it humanely. I will leave how to do it, the different options that you have down below in the comments in case you're curious. I mean, you can always Google how to do it, but we're not going to show it because I think that's just a little... It's a little much for us. We're not cooking chicken. We're not killing chickens on, this, <laughs> on the thing. So it's like, you. I'm sure you can have the butcher also kill the lobster beforehand. So. Yeah. But or get it done. There's a way that you can do it where it kills them instantly and if they feel no pain. You just gotta stab them right through the brain. It's not humanely, but either way. Let's go! <laughs> with a 
mirepoix, where you saute carrot, celery, onion. All right, so we got our mirepoix. Did I say it right? Mirepoix. Mirepoix? Mirepoix. Mirepoix. And then we've got our celery for our cold lobster rolls. Chives. Scott on the spot a little bit while he's prepping. Also the uh, garlic, home girl. What? Well, then, I put it right here for you. Oh, thanks. How sweet. Okay. I'm going to um, ask you a couple questions that somebody or that some people asked me when I was doing a question and answer video about us. Okay? Gosh. Are you excited? <laughs> Nervous. Okay. So I'm gonna rephrase them because obviously some of them, they were for me. How did you know Kelly was the one and when do you think you would get married? Um, how did I know she was the one? She lived in Japan for a long time. I was a sushi chef for a long time. I love Japanese culture and food, and so did she. And that was something that, that was important to me, but also she was a boss up at her job, which is really cool. I managed people for a long time, and we had that in common. And we could talk about that stuff. And um, obviously she's gorgeous. And uh, so yeah, smart, beautiful, common interests. She liked the outdoors. She was. Pretty badass, free spirited, and you know, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to to lock her down at first. Um, well, I mean, hell, she did leave and <laughs> moved to California. Oh, I did do that. Um, but you know, I mean, I was pretty confident she was the one that she would if she put up with me from pretty early on. Um, took some convincing. And then he put but, a baby uh, in me. And then uh, <laughs> I locked her in with our life, so there we go. All right, and when do you think you would get married? We will get married. When do I think we will? Yeah. Or when did I think we were going to? No, <laughs> when will we? Two different questions. Well, I guess that's, yeah. Well, we're going to get married probably um, in 2023. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Wait a minute. See. What? 2022. No, I mean, wish, probably. but if you could move, if you could pick up and move to any state, where would it be and why? Any state? Uh, um, it's a good question, but I think, like, just based on the state and what it has to offer alone, I love Colorado. The mountains, I'm a mountain biker, I like dirt bikes and off-road and camping. That's like where I feel most in tune with myself and nature and the people that I'm with. So, I love All right. that. All right. Okay. One more and then, I'll, and then we'll save some more for later. Okay. Um, totally don't need to answer this, but what does Scott do for work? And do you guys think you'll stay in Dallas long term? Sell drugs. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I really don't. Um, I work in insurance. I work for a big insurance company. I'm not going to tell you which one because I just told you I sell drugs, which I don't. I'm pretty sure I've already told them the <laughs> answer to this question, but go ahead. Yeah, I work in insurance. I'm a, a product manager in the on the claim side, of the insurance world for commercial auto insurance. Okay. And do you think we'll stay in Dallas long term? Um. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Not happening. Anyways. Not happening? The next question is, we'll leave you on a cliffhanger. What is one thing you would tell your younger self? Um, two. Well, the adobo sauce will work. Okay. Where's the adobo sauce? And I said we need a new one. All right, so we've got our whatever Totoro, I don't even look at that. Some minced garlic, some chives, and tarragon? That was thyme. Thyme. So we've made a little thyme. like thing, and this is gonna go for the, um, some of this is for the, so what is for what? 
This is gonna just be garnish for both of the. Got you. Um, tarragon, what's the tarragon going in? This. Got you. Okay. So that's where we're at right now, and we're getting ready to cook some lobsters. We unfortunately do not have tomato paste, we forgot. So we're gonna use some adobo sauce. So this chipotle has come in adobo, and we're gonna use this for color and thickness, yeah, um, and a little bit of a heat. Like a little a bit kick. of a Southwest flair to it, which will be cool. cool. Very cool. All right, what's next? All right, I'm gonna kill some lobsters. Oh no, okay. Prepping bed, bed, bread. <laughs> All right, yeah, so like Kelly mentioned before, uh, we couldn't find actual lobster rolls, so I'm gonna cut these to make them kind of like a lobster roll. Because you want to toast the sides, so you just cut the edges off of like a fresh hot dog roll. I want to kind of hollow mine out a bit. You can do whatever you want. Perfect. We'll do. Uh, but yeah, the important part is that the sides get toasty. Kelly wanted these hot dog buns, which were basically white bread. Um, I like the buttery flavor of brioche, so I got these brioche buns. So I'm gonna do like minis. Um, probably make like three different for myself. It'll be about the same as the two for Kelly. So yeah. The question uh, is, are you gonna do two hot or two toasted? Cold? I'm gonna do one of each. Of course. You said three. Oh, gotcha. I guess math is not my strong suit. Um, <laughs> Whichever one you like most, once you eat the first one. I don't know. I mean, honestly, I'll probably make four. <laughs> I just like hollowed mine out of it. All right, so what's advice you would tell your younger self? Advice I would tell my younger self? Um, or Arlo at this point. <laughs> I would have moved around a little bit more, experienced a little bit more um, when I was younger, before I had really strong commitments. Um, and probably would have trusted in myself more to when I was like a sushi chef. And I wanted to, um, you know, the goal was to make more money. But when I was a sushi chef, not to toot my own horn, but I was pretty good. I could have moved around and been a sushi chef anywhere. And I think that would have been really cool. I got a job offer in Miami that I passed up for some stupid reason. Um, but how cool would that have been to go be a, go run a sushi bar like in Miami, at the pier where all the big yachts are and stuff like that. Is that but, your decision you regret making in your life? Do you have any decisions you regret making? Uh, I have a lot of decisions I regret really? making. Really? <laughs> I feel like I only have one them. major. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, like major life decisions that I regret making? Yeah. Yeah, I mean that and like I would have gone to school like further away from home, you know. Um, Either of my parents went to school. Um, so yeah, we're both first was, generation. Yeah, college. so there wasn't like a, a none of my parents uh, really had that kind of advice for me growing up, other than you know you're gonna go to school. And so I went to school and I went somewhere close um, where some friends were going. Okay, this one's a fun one just because. What's your favorite trait about me, physically? Physically? <laughs> Physically. Your eyes. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. What about non-physically? <laughs> what would you call that? Emotionally? I don't know. Um, My calm temper? <laughs> <laughs> she has the worst temper. I do not. She doesn't show it to you guys. I do not! She has patience level. Negative. I should have got another glass of wine. That's not true. Yeah. It I depends was, on the scenario. I'm hoping that Arlo teaches her how to be more patient. So rude. All um, right. But the thing I like most about you is your, your drive and your ambition. Aw, that's sweet. Yeah. Do you want me to know mine? Sure. As long as it's nice. <laughs> okay, I have two, <laughs> two physicals. First of all is triceps. They're very nice trucks. They're not really that nice. They're very nice. They're very strong. <laughs> and then second is how like smooth and like flawless his back is. You wanna see that? <laughs> no! But like, you know how some guys' backs can be like hairy and like pimply and stuff? Scott has a very nice back. <laughs> we went one of our like last dates when I was in Dallas, we went to um Go stand up paddle boarding. 
and he asked me to put sunscreen on his back, and I remember I just being wanted like, to touch me. his back is so flawless. <laughs> and then I fell in, and he laughed at me, and then he fell in. That, um, yeah. that did happen. And then mentally, is that you're like, I feel like you're everybody's like go to when they need certain advice in life. Hmm. Whether it's like work or friends will call you because I feel like you have a very like sound mind for people to like crazy. go to. It's crazy to me. Why? <laughs> that they trust Oh, uh, that they trust you. <laughs> it's true. Um, and he's just a really awesome dad. He's a lot of fun. Anyways. Oh, that was so sweet. Aww. Love you. Love you too. Um, I'm drinking some, do you call it Mayomi? Or Mayomi. 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 And Scott's drinking. Old Forester 1910. It's very good, very complex, robust. We have an ice bath. We're using a crock pot bin because we don't have any other ones, but there's our lobster or anything big enough. One. Okay. That's Larry. Yeah, so you gotta use a towel, of course, or you'll burn yourself. So just take the arms off. Oh, got you. That makes sense. You're and not then, gonna cool uh, the whole thing because. Yeah, because it's more all fit in there. What? So you're just cracking the tail. Yeah. And you're gonna keep the heads for the broth. Yes, so I should get another little bowl for that. Here we go. So you got all our meat cooling in here to stop it from cooking, as well as to just cool it so we can actually, you know, crack it. Crack it and go. And then we got the heads that we're gonna use for the broth. Yep. Cool. Boom. And then we're going to, you didn't salt the water, you just put the water in plain, and we're gonna yeah. use this to make our stock. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna crack some lobster here. So the tails are pretty easy. You just take it, you just rip it off the body. I'm not sure if you saw how I did that. But. And then you take a sharp knife right in the back, it's all the way through, and then you can just pull the meat right out. Boom, half a lobster tail. Mm. So fired, I love lobster so much. But we're not gonna eat any because we need to make sure that there's enough mm -hmm. for it. Our meal. So I'm gonna take this stuff, I'm gonna put it back in the stock. Actually, we're gonna get our stock boiling first. That's probably a good idea. So we got the water that we boiled in. I poured some of it out, and then we got the bodies. So all that stuff in there you want in the stock that's flavor. And same thing, you can cut them either way, from the bottom or the top. Sharp knife is important. Show you guys how to do a claw real quick. So they're spiky, so it's easier to take a towel and break off the knuckles. Um, kind of the same thing, you just break it all apart as much as you can. And we're gonna take all the meat out of everything. There's some good meat in here. <laughs> yeah, so that's good water. So if water's coming out, put it in the stock. That's good flavor. So. I take this part out, and this is the, that's like the big ligament that's in the claw. And the best way to do this, and sometimes it could get a little bit dirty, is to crack it here, crack it here, crack it here. That's the back of your knife. It's the back of the knife, yeah, good call. And then you can just pull out the entire claw like that. Okay, so these parts are a little bit more finicky. Yes. Probably get like a spoon. A spoon. And you take the back of the spoon and try and push the meat out. Like so. You've got the knuckle meat. And then a little bit more knuckle meat. There you go. Boom. Got it out. And then yeah, and that's it. So that's the, that's all the claw and arm meat. So I mean, that's the two main parts: is the tail and the claw and the knuckles. Um, there's tiny bits of meat in the actual like tiny legs, but it's kind of a pain in the ass. Some may say it's worth it. Some may say it's not. You guys decide. say it's not <laughs> for tonight, anyway. Yeah. All right, so we're just gonna finish cracking these lots to tails yep. and stuffs. One last question. Mm -hmm. If you could do anything you want, job-wise, what would you do? 
besides insurance right now? Uh, professional golfer. <laughs> it's true, you really <laughs> But I mean, you have to have the skills. <laughs> oh, it has to be like... No, not realistic, I guess. I guess, okay, that's your like crazy, but your realistic-ish goal. What would it be? Uh, if I if I knew I would be doing it. Okay. All right. So we're taking the the meat and we're slicing it up. Want a little chunky for the lobster rolls. The tails. This is all that came out of those two lobsters. Yeah. Craziness. Lobsters ain't cheap. They ain't cheap. Well, they're not. So let's save this for a special night. I've been wanting to make lobster rolls for a while. So I'm really excited to be doing this right now. So excited. I'm gonna cut Kelly off a tiny little piece of the claw. <gasps> the claw meat is like sweeter. And the tail meat is more like succulent. Are you eating the tail or are you eating the claw? I ate a little bit of claw just now. The tail meat is generally more desirable. Mm. I'm gonna give Kelly a tiny piece of the tail meat to prepare. Yes. Give Kelly. I like the claw. The tail's really fluffy. The tail's claw's more dense, I feel like. Well, which one are you most excited about? I don't know. They're I both think I'm most so excited for hot. I honestly I'm honestly a little bit more excited for the cold. I'm not gonna lie. Woo! Alright. We'll give you a taste test and let you know how it goes. Oh, let's check on the broth. I'm just trying to boil out all the flavor. So you just want to boil it until it falls apart, basically. Oh. Uh, which we're not going to boil it. It's super duper long, but. Oh. Your salad, which is really easy. You just take the lobster. And then we have olive oil, mayo. Kind of do it to taste. This is fresh, delicious. You really don't need a lot. Definitely want lemon flavor. I'm doing this much. I'm not gonna do a whole lemon. No, just whole, half. Just half, okay. These are pretty juicy. And then, what we're gonna do is take our celery, and how much am I gonna do? Mm. Probably that oh. much, the whole thing. <laughs> so it's gonna make it nice and crunchy, and then we're gonna put some chives in there too. Chives aren't a very strong flavor, but a little bit of oniony flavor. So, so a little bit of salt. It's pepper. over here, babe. I'm already even thinking about you. Thank I you, got babe. you covered. Just a little bit of pepper, not a lot. And then salt. Yeah. We're gonna mix that up. Mm. Mm -hmm. So yep. salt we and are. Butter. Going to take, yeah, we have some butter that we've just been leaving out, make it a little bit easier. And we're gonna take a chunk of it. Once we melt it, wetting these, and then we're gonna put a little bit of pepper. Sweaty. A little bit of salt. A little bit more salt. So we're gonna um, put some, some of this garlic in here. Not all of it. Are we rolling? Yeah. All right. You're nuts. All right. So now we're gonna put a little bit of AP flour. As you can see, the onions are starting to get translucent. So a couple tablespoons worth ish. So this will help thicken it up. That's the whole point of a roux. It's cooked. Started. Flour is cooked. It's starting to brown. We're gonna do what's called deglazing the pan with some wine. Turn the heat up a little bit. And we're gonna put like. Half a cup, maybe a little bit more than half a cup. So this is just gonna cook and it's gonna thicken pretty good. After your stock cooks for a little while and the body starts to get soft, you wanna like smash them around. And that's gonna release, you just speed up the process of getting all the flavor out of them. So I've been smashing these for a minute and this is about ready to go. So that's all just lobster flavor. So now, turn the heat back up, get that to a boil, and then we're gonna stir that up. 
and then we're going to let that cook for a while. Probably reduce a little bit. Yeah, it's going to thicken a little bit with that yeah. roux, right? So then we're... Mm, need salt. Quite a bit, actually. So I'm going to put some butter. Some? Holy manoli. This is for buttering Toasting. the bread. And then, you know what? We're going to put some butter in the other pan. Oh, yeah. We're sauteing the lobster. You know what we're also going to put in there? Garlic. Garlic. Yeah, size of this. And then, you want two of them, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And then we're going to do the same here. Through the chipotles and a little bit of the adobo. Yep. We'll put a couple of these bad boys in there. In there for some kick. But if you have tomato paste, that'll work just fine. So now fine. this is sauteing. So I'm going to let that saute for just a second. And then we're going to put this up in there. Boom. Mm. Just going to saute it. Nice and warm, toss some garlic. Flip it a couple times. We're gonna turn the heat down. Put a little bit of lemon on there, not a whole lot. The cold, the my buns, the Scott's buns. All right, so I'm gonna put some cold lobster up here. Trying not to give Kelly too much. She's got the massive ah. buns. I got big old buns. Got a little Kelly's. Here we go. Oh, hey there. Me again. Okay, you going hot first or cold first? Um, cold. How about you? I guess I'll go cold at the same time. Alright. Same time. Cheers. Mm. Mm hmm. Alright. Mmm. Mm hmm. Good. This is my favorite. I like the hot one better? Because I feel like the butter and the lemon, you just taste the lobster more. This brioche, while it's really delicious, it's really flaky. My bun is perfect. Very good. Wow, that's a lot of lobster in there, Philly. <laughs> I know he's going to say something about my bun. Alright y'all, Kelly's right. Her bun's better. Buns better. The brioche, it's light, fluffy, delicious, but that one puts the lobster more like front and center, mm. which is. Those are very light. They're flavorful. Mm -hmm. They're buttery. They're good for it's burgers. Good bun. I love brioche buns. Mm. Next time we're definitely going with those. That turned out really good. Super good. I wonder about your cold one on those buns too, babe. Let me have the rest. Mm -hmm. Is it better? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I guess this is terrible. It's, it's just too flaky. It's not even flaky, it's like crumbly. Like, Okay. Croutons, like, break apart. Not terrible, but this is better. Way better. This is like bread Holds up bread. to the meat, I feel like. Mm -hmm. Inside much better. Wow. Thought I'd never see the day. Chef Kelly over here. <laughs> Anyways. Super fun. Not your, we're still making the broth, the soup. That might not be a tonight thing. We might have to go tomorrow. Yeah, right. Oh, we're gonna finish tonight? Mm-hmm. I'm already ready for bed, it's 9.30. We're um, gonna eat all afternoon. It's so like I've been snacking all afternoon. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Um, but yeah, not your average everyday kind of meal because the lobsters were like 80 bucks. <laughs> 
but it was fun nonetheless and it's really not common to get lobster rolls around here where can you no. get a lobster roll around here there's like probably two restaurants and then there's that lobster food truck oh yeah um there was a lobster luke's lobster in um Amotisando in japan and the line used to just be like so long every day of people just going to get lobster rolls and i got one one time and they're good and they would just like close when they sold out of lobsters obviously because they don't get lobsters in japan so yeah, yeah. i can't these even are, tell you the last time i had one it was probably then these are main lobsters and they're known to be the best lobsters in the world so they're expensive, but they're they're really good. They're very mm -hmm. different than like a, a Baja lobster or Australian lobster. Yeah. So if you guys are in the mood for a fun, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's like a date in itself. It's not like just dinner. You know, mm -hmm. it's a whole evening. I don't know. I really enjoyed spending this time with you, Kelly. Did you? Mm -hmm. Yelling at me. This scene. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Check in with you guys again when it's soup time. Mm -hmm. For now, we'll go fall asleep on the couch until then. We just started watching and we're all caught up on Nine Perfect Strangers mm -hmm. on Hulu. But tonight, maybe we'll get in like one episode of The White Lotus, which I heard is good. We watched the trailer, it looked interesting. Um, but yeah, see you guys when it's time for. Ooh, soup. So we've reduced this. Got a lot of flavors up in there. So now we've already taken out the herbs. Also. Oh yeah. So we're gonna finish it off with some heavy cream. Stir it up and then blend it. Wow, so pretty. Life happens. All right, there's the lobster bisque. We got some chives, some sprigs of chives, some togarashi, and then some doplets of cream, which Scott used one of Arlo's medical syringes <laughs> um, to dot the cream. So, yeah, looks good. Hey guys, what's oh. going on? Hey, it's me, me again. again. <laughs> Build some thermo shirt here. Well, As usual. All right, here it goes. Ooh! It's kick to it. Ooh. Those chipotle peppers. Oh my god! Probably should have just went to the store and got tomato paste. <laughs> <laughs> it's good though. <laughs> you know, the uh, the chilies is good for inflammation. <laughs> if you have those kind of issues. What inflammation issues you got, Scott? My um, it's inflamed whenever I see you. That's a weird way to put it. I mean, like inflamed, like swollen, you know. Sorry, I'm inflamed right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy to see you. Could have used one less uh, chipotle pepper. Yeah, it's good though. It is actually really good. Yeah. Does my nose is sweat. A little bit. I've oh, been working hard. Natural oils. Been working hard, babe. Natural oils that you're going to filter and sell in a bottle. That's weird to no. say out loud in front of people. <laughs> but not weird to say. That's like okay. a like late night in bed, like talking about weird ideas type of thing. You don't share that with the world. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, so we were talking about now that she brought it up. <laughs> so like all these moisturizers that ladies use, right? They're designed to replace moisturizers that are naturally occurring in your face. But so you strip your face of all your dirt and oils that you have on there naturally, and then you replace it with all this stuff that who knows where it came from. But like, why can't they just like suck all the oils off of everybody's faces. That's so disgusting. I did not want other people's it, process it and like turn it into like natural oil that is for your skin, absent the dirt. Gross. And then I don't want anyone else's oils on my face. 
And then everyone, and then you ladies would look young forever. You say I don't look young forever? <laughs> I didn't say that. It's because you don't wash your face. I don't wash <laughs> it. This um, was pretty good. Very good. I like that so, stuff. Anyway, that's Oof. all of our, I'm not gonna finish that, I'm so full. Um, That'll conclude our video. I'm just gonna drink it. Okay. Wait, we're out of here? <sighs> we're out of here, it's 10 o'clock. All right, y'all, we're out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let us know by giving us a big thumbs up and smashing that subscribe button. Yeah, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. I don't know who he's bah, watching, bah, bah. or that's a thing. Um, and also, let us know what you guys, if you like seeing these, which we haven't done them in a while. Um, I'll link our previous ones down below if you are curious to watch them. Um, if you like seeing these, let us know. Mm. And let us know what you want to see next time. We've done two chickens. And then throughout my weekly vlogs, we do like random meals, but this is our first like seafood one. Yeah. And keep in mind, y'all, this was like totally experimental. We've yeah. never done this at home. I've never made lobster rolls ever before. I was just no. craving it. I've never made lobster biscuit at home. I didn't it's even fun. use a recipe. Yeah, we're definitely not a cooking channel. Yeah. More of like an experiment. Hang out with us while we cook and eat and yeah. Yeah. So, we could have we followed a recipe and done a little bit better. Yeah, probably, but that's not but as fun. It's not as fun. I like, you know, Lucy Goofy. Lucy Goosey. Lucy Goofy. <laughs> Flying by the seat of my pants. Off the cuff, you know? Alright. Anyway, so on that note. <laughs> good night. Peace out. Bye. Bye, y'all.